video I'm going to show you how to work out the circumference of a circle. So circumference is just another word for perimeter but specifically for circles. So if you're working out the perimeter of a circle we would usually use the word circumference instead of perimeter. So when you're calculating circumference you need to learn a formula. So here's the formula up here C equals pi D. C is just for circumference Pi is an irrational number, which is approximately equal to 3.142, and D is for the diameter. Now, the diameter is just the distance all the way across the circle, like in this example here. Okay, so from here to here. So, all you have to do to work out circumference is multiply pi by the diameter. Underneath is just another version of the same formula. They're exactly the same. Some people like to remember this one, or they remember both but they're exactly the same thing. You can see here, because 2r, r is the radius, if you multiply the radius by 2, it gives you the diameter, okay? But for these examples, I'm just going to refer to the top equation, c equals pi d. So in the first example, I'm gonna write down the formula, and I already know what the diameter is, so I'm just going to substitute that into the equation. So pi multiplied by 11 and that's all you have to do so put that in the calculator okay so find pi on your calculator and multiply by 11 that should give you 34.557 dot 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 and I'm going to round that to one decimal place so after the decimal here look at this 5 it rounds the other 5 up to 6 so it's 34.6 don't forget the units in this question, we're using centimetres, so the circumference is also in centimetres. Don't go putting a squared on this one, that's just for area. Here, we're doing distance, so it's centimetres. Now, in the next example, start the same way. Write down your equation, C equals pi D. Now, looking at this example, it's a little bit different because we haven't been given the diameter in this question. We've been given something called the radius. So remember, the radius is halfway across the circle, but the diameter is all the way across the circle. So if this distance is seven, so is this one here, which means the diameter is just seven plus seven, which is 14 centimeters. So in this question, you have to multiply pi by 14. So you had an extra step in this one. You need to work out the diameter in order to work out the circumference. So again, use your calculator, find pi, multiply pi by 14. This time I've got 43.982 dot dot dot. And again, I'm going to round to one decimal place. So the eight rounds this nine up to 10, which changes that one to a four. So it's 44.0, not forgetting the units at the end. Okay, so as long as you can remember the formula for finding the circumference, it's really quite simple. So uh, in the next video, I will do some more questions with the circumference, except we'll do questions where you're given the circumference and then you have to calculate the diameter or the radius. Okay, so that's all for now.